Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my Muslim brothers and sisters. Ramadan Karim to everybody. So today, we want to talk about al Islam wal Banatu, Islam and girl child. This one has to teach us how to take care of girl picking. You, when you talk, say girl, no be anything for family. Hey, I shake my head. Since I shake my head like war clock, I pity you because you don't know anything. We get our Imam, Imam Abdi Kodru, Timofi Tawata Wakwe. Assalamu alaikum, sir. So, Imam, go lecture us more about this topic. More we'll go over to Imam. Wa, wa alaikum salam, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, wa kafa, wa salatu wa salam, ala Rasulullah, al Mustafa. Wala alihi ali sofai, wala asahabi, ali nabi, wala olumi, wala hikami, ashad Allah ilaha illallah, wahdau la sharikallah, wa ashadu anna sayyidana Muhammad, abduhu, wala kafatil alamin arsalahu. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. Today, as, uh, as been announced, we are going to talk about girl child. Girl child, what is the Islamic perspective on girl child, inshallah? My name is Junaid, Imam Junaid Abdul Qadri, the Qadrat Allah Ta'ala. The girl child is known as Al Banatu in Arabic uh, language, Al Banatu. Uh, and this Banatu in the Arabic semantic is a Jamu Ma'anas Salimi, Wa Hidatuhu. Al Bintu. So it is part of a uh, uh, pluralization of word in Arabic language. And uh, the singular form of uh, Al Banatu is Al Bintu. Al Bintu. Al Bintu means one girl. Al Banatu means uh, many girls. Wa una banatu insan and nafsa'u wa mslahunna prima zukura banatu barihi. It is the daughters that is that are given birth to by a person, by somebody, or the children, the children of other people. It might be your own daughters, it might be daughters of every other people around you. Girl child in totality is what we are going to talk about. Wabadu Nasi, get the government of Many people, whenever they give birth to children, girl child, they will be getting angry. And they will be treating them with cruelty. They will be cruel with them. And uh, this is now being rampant in our society. It has been like that before our own generation. And uh, Prophet Muhammad came to eradicate this. And this is what we are. Uh, Trying to put um, out, insha Allah. Inna Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Fakir bi banatin, wa kudrisko bi arba i banatin kubla kubla al awlad. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We need to let you know he started giving birth to children with girl child, with daughters. He gave birth to four daughters, and these four daughters. Where Zainab require Umu Kulutum and uh, Fatima to Az Zahra. Those are the four children Prophet Muhammad first gave birth to before he started giving birth to um, male children. With the one who lay alayhina admain, they had a place with them. Wakana to Rabia al Banatu, the fourth one, when he gave birth to her. Some people, Fakila, some people call Prophet Muhammad. Ya Rasulullah, oh, the messenger of Allah. Innaha unsa. The one given birth to again is a girl child again. Is a female again. Farada alayhi na salawat. He now replied them. Wa kol. Hiya raihanatun. He told them that 
the young child you are talking about, they are like perfume, a well-endowed perfume that I'm perceiving they are important. Their importance might be more than that of a male child. And that was exactly what happened to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let us quickly go to Al Quran, where Allah spoke about girl child. For the benefit of those who are noting it, Surah Al Nahli, verse 57 to 59, Allah spoke about girl child and our reaction and inaction about it. Surah Al Shura, verse 49, Surah Al Zaharul, verse 16 and verse 17, Surah Al Taur, verse 39, and Surah Al Takwil, verse 8. And nine. Allah spoke about the child in all these uh, surahs. In Surah Al Nahli, verse 57 to 59, Allah says, They attach female child only to Allah. That whenever they are giving birth to female child, they do say that the child is only for Allah. Subhanahu, Allah is Allah is pure than that. Wallahumma yashchahun. Whatever they want is only what they think will be given to them. There are some that they don't think of that are embellished with success and great things. But by the time we have done it, we know how to make them, you know, beneficial to them. Why is that? Bushiro ahaduhum balunsa. Whenever they give any of them information about the fact that they gave birth to a girl child. Zolla waj uhu, musawadatan wahuwa kafimun. Many of them will be, will, will, will have a kind of, you know, ambivalent attitude about him. They will have it as ridiculous. They will have it as being humiliating for them to have given birth to a girl child. Yatawara mina leko min min suhi ma bashrobi alu mustiku u ala huni au yadu suhu biturabini ala saha ma yahkumon. The point we want to make here is just that some of us, when you have the information you give it to a girl child, you will be getting hungry. You will not be happy. You will be challenging your wife. Oh, why are you giving birth to girl child? Girl child, girl child. Why not giving me a girl child? Allah said, La imunaku samawati wal ardi. Yakaluku ma yashahu. Yahabu liman yashahu inasan. Wa yahabu liman yashahu zukuran. Aw yuza widu u zukuranan wa inasan. Allah says, Do not blame anybody. I am the one that created whatsoever I want. I am the one that created whosoever I wish to create. I can decide to give you girl child. All your children might be girl child, like uh, Prophet Shaib. All your children might be boys, like Prophet Yaakub. And I can decide to make them for you, like Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Everyone is coming from me. Allah says, I created the way I want. If I give you girl child, say Alhamdulillah. If I give you a boy, say Alhamdulillah. Because all of them are blessing. May Allah continue blessing us. I mean, talk of the Mimma Yahaluku Banatini, Wasifakum Belbonina, Wayda Butcher, Adukum Bima, Dora Balu Rahmani, Mosulan, Zulla Wadiuhu, Mosuadan, Mathwadan, Mosuadan, Wahua Kasimun. Whenever any one of them is informed about their child, they used to frown their face. They used to get so angry. They used to get distraught. Allah says this kind of attitude is totally wrong. Some are using even girl child to abuse Prophet Muhammad when he was given birth to only girl child. They say that uh, he is only given birth to females. He is only giving birth to girls. He is only giving birth to women. He is he could not even produce a male child. And uh, you, you are having male children. Just leave him alone. He will not have, he's not going to have somebody who will succeed him. They used to use this to, to you know, 
uh, attack Prophet Muhammad also. And uh, and Allah now brought what they used to do. They are Arabian then. Why is the Mahu that to Suhilati? We are Zambin Kotilati. Where they used to kill girl child. They used to humiliate girl child. And Allah was now bringing the story that uh, one day we come in the hereafter when the girl children will call those who were using to be killing them. The Aji Zam bin Kutilat. What was my offense? Why did you kill me? And uh, they will ask in the hereafter. Let's quickly go for Adis of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Aisha Radi Allah wa Aniya Qalat Yaqlat Alayya Amurahatan Wa Ma'a Ibn Thani Laha This Alu Falam Tajid in the Shayyan Gaira Tamaratin Wa Idatin Fa Ataituwa Ijiaha Fa Qasamwataha Bayna Ibn Tayha Wa Lam Ta'kul Minha Zuma Qamati Fa Kharajati Fa Dakhla Nabiyu Sallallahu Alayhi Wa Sallam Alayna فَأَقْبَرْتُهُ فَقَالَ مَنْ تُلَّيَ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْبَنَاتِ بِالشَّيْءِ فَأَحْسَنَ إِلَيْهِنَّ كُنَّ لَهُ سِتْرًا مِنَ النَّارِ كُنَّ لَهُ سِتْرًا مِنَ النَّارِ مُتَفَقَّنَ عَلَيْهِ أنا عائشة عائشة بردس عدس ودي الله تعالى أني إسأل she says that a woman came to them, came to her when she was sitting down, and this woman brought two female children. It, she does not have anything to give them. Aisha now said, she has one day. She now gave the date to her. When this woman collected the date, the woman shared the date between the two uh, girls, she did not even eat anything from it at all, Allah. and the girls ate. They were happy. Then the woman left and went. When Prophet Muhammad now came, Aisha Rodi Allah Taala Aniya now took Prophet Muhammad that see what happened. This woman came. I gave her day. She could not even eat from it. She used the day entirely to satisfy. Our girl children. Prophet Muhammad now says, Prophet now said, Whosoever Allah has challenged, Allah has tested with female children, with girl child, and is able to take a good care of them according to his ability and the capability. This girl child will become a barricade for him against the hellfire. Well, let's go for this break now. And uh, after this time out, we shall continue with our discussion. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You will just join us. We will see me and our Imam Abdukadri, they talk. You don't know what they miss, you oh. don't miss where well, well. But what will they talk today? Now, al Islam wal banatu, Islam and child girl. You where you think, say, now only get, 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 God they give you. Ah, make it thank God, oh. Get, now woman be, oh. No, they talk, say, if you never get man, the family never complete. No. God say anything where he give us. According to what our, le our lecturer today don't tell us. He say, if... We don't get, 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 we no satisfy. Hmm. Make with the thank God. Say, no be, no be, no be safe, you know, get man. The family never complete, no. So right now, we won't go break. Make we see the small clip where we tell people for outside. My brother in Islam, my sister in Islam. Wait, tell us what Ramadan means to you. Send us one minute clip of what Ramadan means to you. But we go play one sample for you now so that you go see how the thing be. My name is Nalukman Bankoli. I'm sending this video from Sun Water. The month of Ramadan, this month gives us opportunity to wipe away our sin. 
the month that will show love. The month of Ramadan is the month of receiving, the month of discipline, the month that teaches us how to live the rest of the year. So when, when the month of Ramadan comes, some people adjust their life. At the end of the day, it will shape how they live their life for the rest of the year. And many good things start coming into their life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Abdul Bashir Balogo. I just send this video from BI. I want to know what Ramadan means to me. This month of Ramadan is the only month where we say any bad part of what we know say we do to make us live up. You will not say they smoke before, live up. You will not say they drink before. Drink will not be to drink water. Or if they drink alcohol, if they take alcohol, you need to stop up. But that one no means after this month finish, make you can go back to her. No, that will not make you fear God. For you, when you know say want to do this video too, send them to at Wazobia Mass, either on Instagram or Twitter. Come tag up hashtag Ramadan2020 with Wazobia. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope so everybody don't see that clip where we play now. So if you don't record your waiting for Madam Miss to you one minute clip, send them to either Instagram or Twitter at Wazobia Mass or Wazobia TV NG. Hashtag, hashtag Ramadan 2020 with Wazobia. So today we will talk about an Islam wal banatu. Our lecturer, our Imam Abdul Qadri, they on standby. More we'll go over to our Imam. Make them finish up with us. Alhamdulillah, you are welcome back, viewers at home. Um, we are spoke, we are talking about what Allah and uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad have, have to say about their child. And uh, as part of what we continue with is what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam now told uh, Al Mugira. Ibn Shu'ba, the Allah wa Anim. Al Mugur Ibn Shu'ba, he says that Anna Rasulullah sallallahu wa alayhi wa sallam called Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wa alayhi wa sallam says, Inna Allah arrama alaykum uhu kol umuhad. Allah says, You should not be molesting women. You should not be finding women being eaten. You should not eat your women. He says you should not be um, killing your girl child. In the olden days, in the Jahiliyat uh, pre-Islamic era, they used to kill girl child. Prophet Muhammad says it is haram. And also, you should not be listening to hearsay. Carrying rumor all over the place. It's very, very wrong. Too much question. You, as Muslims, should get away from them while you go out of the mind. You should not be compounding and uh, multiplying money. The money that other people should benefit from should. <laughs> Our network get a TV. So, as you they learn this thing, I hope say so you understand. Our Imam say no. Molest any girl na awam. No molest any woman na awam. I beg. All the bad bad things where they say they do to a woman, where they say because they be a woman, they not get power issue. No, all this thing na awam. Make we stop them. I beg. So I don't know if our network don't do okay with our imam. Okay. So if I say the network still get a CV. <laughs> so anytime where you see say you see anybody. Where they, where, where they talk anyhow, where they are as woman, I beg, I beg. They let those people know. Make we pass this knowledge to everybody. You where they watch, I beg. You need to learn a lot from all these things where our imam, they tell us now. If they see anybody where they do such thing, I beg. Make it tell the person, say, this thing no good. Our imam don't do on standby back now. Uh -huh. make, make our imam continue. Okay, so Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, what we spoke about was uh, an uh, al Mugir Abu Shoba, uh, he said Prophet Muhammad uh, discouraged us from killing our girl child or girl children. He also discouraged us 
from carrying rumor. We also discouraged us from asking too much questions. We also discouraged us from uh, accumulating wealth. The wealth that are supposed to be shared among people do not just sit down and be spending all of them. And to say that the first person that killed his child, his girl child, was Kwesubina Asini at Telimi. Kwesubina Asini at Telimi was the first person that killed his uh, girl child. He killed the child because his enemies were, 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 you know, castigating him, were molesting him, that he's only given birth to girl child, that he's not going to have somebody who will succeed him. Because of that, when he now gave birth to a girl, he killed him, and uh, he now buried uh, the girl child alive. Since then, the Arabian now started following his foster, until when it, it now came to this man was the first person that will buy a girl child that anybody wants to kill. If he hears that somebody wants to kill a girl child, he will now rush down there. He will pay them money. Go, okay, you want to kill the child because you think you don't have money? Okay, bring the child. I will give you money. He will pay them the money, and after paying them the money, he will now carry the child. He will now go and uh, be taking care of the, of the child. That was the reason why his uh, daughter was now used to be saying that what just did. I say the network no to balance today. So no wala until we come your screen another day. In a bye bye, bye salam.